the challenges that um, as women we are facing can, can stand in, uh, just to hear what what the women are facing in terms of this trouble that they brought here to the offices uh, welcome to our program i'll hold this one for you yeah tell us some of the problems that we are facing uh, as refugees in south africa as refugees in south africa women are also facing the same trouble as men and you know exactly Women have children, and our children cannot go to school. They are those who applied for high school. There's now the system, they have discrimination. Why they claim that there's no discrimination in this country? On the system, they ask which, uh, which uh, document the child is using. And when you write no document, up to now, it was said that they will answer us uh, from the 4th of September. Up to now, we applied, no response. But we can meet other c children at the school of our children. They say, me, they took me at this such school, such So school. to understand you well, yes. some of you, their children have been denied education so that they Yes, yes. It's, it's what we see now, because next year, we don't know, those who applied in grade one and grade eight, eight. eight. it will be a problem. That's why we are here to ask UNHCR to see also, to have a look on this matter, because if they don't answer, we're still coming back here to claim this. We know that children have right, and we are also claiming the right of our children. As women, they get also arrested. They take them also to the jail for paper. Why is Home Affairs who is delaying to renew the papers? It's not our fault, but it's the fault of the Home Affairs. You can hear for yourself the, uh, the mother is saying uh, the trouble is that they have got children at home and these children are not going to school and they should be going to school when they apply because of lack of documents which of course they are saying is not their fault and uh, they find themselves not uh, being able also to register. But I'm going to bring in here now uh, the spokesperson for the UNHCR just to give us a clue as to what they are doing about whether they are aware of the situation.